Hello everyone. So we have had a couple of electric motorcycles launching in the past 15 to 20 days and we thought this is a good time to revisit the motorcycle that pioneered electric motorcycle scene here in India. We are of course talking about the Revolts RV400. Now today we will be test riding a motorcycle which is 2 years old and has already done 13,168 kilometers of run which means we will come to know how the RV400 will hold after 2 years of usage. Now as you can see the color has chipped off from its grab rail and also some of it has gone from the tank area here and the paintwork has taken a beating owing to the sun and rain that it has been exposed to. Now first of all the motorcycle does not need a key to be turned on it is completely via a remote however you do need a key when you want to take out your battery from the motorcycle other than that the engine can be turned on or off by this switch on the right hand side the horn is on the left and it is quite loud and adequate now the motorcycle comes with three modes and this particular piece that we are riding has a battery of 15 percent with a 15 percent of charge the motorcycle in sports mode predicts that it will be able to run 10 kilometers when we switch it to normal mode, that same 15% of battery is able to give 13 kilometers of range. And in the eco mode, it is the highest, which is 21 kilometers. And as you can see in the dashboard, the kilometer reading is 13,168, and the dashboard is visible no matter day or night. Even before we can start the ride, the good thing is that there is a side stand sensor and with the side stand on, the motorcycle refuses to start. Once the motorcycle has been taken off the side stand, then it will start with the engine on switch. Now the acceleration was fine in the eco mode even with a pillion, but the seat comfort for both the riders seemed a little compromised because of its narrow and compact nature, but the saving grace was the cushion which is soft and comfortable. Now speaking of suspension and brake, there is nothing to complain. The suspension setup is a good one and you will be happy to know that it has a monoshock setup in the rear which is adjustable to your driving habits and the roads that you drive on. The brakes are good and adequate. They come with CBS which is combi braking system and disc brakes both in the rear and in the front. The motorcycle also has regenerative braking but there are certain features that are lacking. Number one, ABS is missing. Number two, reverse mode. There is no reverse mode in RV400. And number three, even the cruise control is missing. Now, when you factor in that the price of this vehicle is 1.5 lakhs, then these features that are lacking do seem like a sore point. Other than that, there is nothing to complain in terms of the battery, which is a removable one, and it is rated at 3.24 kilowatt hour. Now, mind you, this is an NMC chemistry, not an LFP chemistry, and the company claims that you will get a range of 150 kilometers. But then users report that in real life, the motorcycle should be very easily able to to give above 100 kilometers and even 120 to 130 kilometers in certain cases. The company provides a 5 ampere charger along with this motorcycle which will charge the battery to a full in just four and a half hours. Now another key point is that the motorcycle is only 108 kgs light which means taking corners and turning it manually should be a breeze. But then again at 1.5 lakh rupees we do feel that the build quality of the motorcycle could have been better. Now mind you when this motorcycle was launched it was launched at below 1 lakh rupees and that was around 4 to 5 years ago. Since then the price of RB400 has been constantly high without making any changes in the build quality and at 1.5 lakh rupees this does become a big question mark. Another feature that some say is a gimmick but others will vouch for is the sound that this motorcycle can generate. Now you can toggle between four different sounds which can be controlled via the application and there is also a possibility to turn it off completely for those who do not like it. Now for those who do like the sound, you should be aware that this sound is being generated by a speaker which is located at the bottom of the motorcycles and some of our viewers and users have complained that this speaker is not very long lasting so that is something that you need to keep in mind. In fact, the components are blown up for visual reference in the showroom where you can see that the battery pack is protected by a strong metal frame and the monoshock suspension that you see under the battery pack is adjustable. Other than that, they have mostly used fiber which as we said earlier lacks in quality but then the motor, it's a mid-drive motor that is present between the wheels and it is connected to the rear wheel using a belt. The motor is rated at 3 kilowatt and the peak power that it can generate is 5 kilowatt. With that, the motorcycle is able to reach a top speed of 85 kilometers per 
for R. The stability is good because of the 17 inch tires that it has. The ground clearance is good and all the lights are LED. Now, if you're in the market looking for an electric motorcycle that has established itself, then the RV400 is a good buy. Even if your daily run is 100 kilometers, the RV400 will very comfortably serve you. But then mind you, it is already a four year old motorcycle, five year old motorcycle, and it does look due for a facelift or an upgrade, which we hope that Revolt will be bringing very soon to the market. This is it for this video. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section and go green, go electric.